It's a nice bike. It has tons of power, handles pretty well, stops pretty good, and puts a big ole grin on the face of anyone atop it. I've gotten to write about it several times now and, each time, I find the article coming off quite positive. Sometimes even more positive than I initially intend for it to but, when I go back and look to try to edit my thoughts, I can find no fault with my feelings about it. And then I realized what the problem was, it's just too much. The XSR is billed as this around town, fun bike, but it's actually a naked sport bike that's just nicer to look at than most of the others. It's the same reason I've always gravitated toward the FZ07 over the FZ09, and why multiple friends have thanked me months after talking them into purchasing the 07 instead of the 09. This doesn't mean it shouldn't exist, but it does mean that I think it isn't the bike you want. While the XSR900 is great, the bike you really want is the Yamaha XSR700, the bike that Yamaha still claims they have no plans to bring stateside. Because it's just the right amount of bike for the riding position and the way most people looking to buy this bike want to ride.